My name is Ali Davey and I'm the co-creator of Fried Coromandel Bike Park. Good job, Lucky. Mountain biking for me brings freedom. Uh, it allows you to be expressive in your own way and to be to be an individual but with your friends, if you know what I mean. It allows you to hang out, have a good time, enjoy some exercise, enjoy the outdoors um, on your own terms. Good job, kill it. In Coromandel, um, we don't have a big biking culture, and I noticed that when we started to build the park, that the kids actually didn't have any skills or didn't actually know what the skills are. And so I thought it was really important that we started to create those skills from a foundation basis. And so when I designed the park, we started like a progression sort of approach. So whichever feature is in the park allows anyone who's riding that park to progress their skills as they go further up the park. So for example, Hemiville, which is the small park at the bottom, um, we can teach body position, we can teach angulation of the bike in a really simplistic, fun way and then they can progress onto the pump track and they can do cornering with speeds and learn to boom. And so that's really important so that, especially for girls and um, people who aren't so confident, they feel confident in that space, they feel safe in that space. So they have a, they have a good experience, they enjoy it and then they want to do it again. They're not intimidated in those spaces. I don't know. <laughs> it's good fun though, eh? Yeah. What's the best part of that track? Uh, the turns. The turns? Yeah. Whereabouts? Uh, every turn that has the big... The, um, the red bits on the outside with the big... Half pipe thing. <coughs> Can you make it up to the red bits? Yep. yep. Go over them. Just on the limit. Yep. Yep. That's good. How'd you go wearing the microphone? Good. Yeah. What do you think I'm going to hear when I listen back? I don't know. Breathing. Breathing. Deep breathing. What's the struggle? Uh, not breathing. Not really. A few yeehaws. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm going to ask you a question and then you're going to ask someone else a question, alright? How was that experience? Good. I did a wheelie. How was that? Pretty cool. Was it hard? No, not really. I just went up that little bit there and I did, and I did a little pop wheelie. Were you scared? No. How did you go following everyone else? Pretty good. Keep up. Mm. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. I think there's lots of options out there, but particularly if you're not as confident or you haven't done anything before, you can easily go into 
an area, like you can either, easily go on for a ride and get dragged into a ride with your mates and then have a fall and then have an accident and then never do it again or have a bad experience. Here in Coromandel, um, it creates a point of difference for families to come and hang out and learn skills. My name's Nathan Roderick and I am a photographer and filmmaker and a bike enthusiast. I got to really enjoy when the kids saw what they were doing um, when I was able to play back the footage to the, each kid, um, especially the ones who were struggling a little bit, you know, they would just light up. You know, there was a couple of young ladies who who weren't so great on the bike, their bike skills and their confidence was pretty low. But as soon as they saw the footage of themselves, they realised how cool they looked on film. And instantly, you know, they grew an inch and then they grew in confidence and then they had a bit more of a go. And, and I think, you know, along with, with Ali helping out with, with technical skills, I think it was really cool for them you know, just to give them a little bump of confidence and, and for me that was that was the best part of seeing what the kids could do. What's your thoughts on going on the top track? Nervous. Why? Um, a lot of jumps. Fast. And it's, yeah, slippery. Fast? Yeah, fast. Yeah. Have you been up there before? Uh, yep. How did you find today? Well, it was fun. Very fun. Have you ever pulled your tyre when you were riding? No. No, not that I know. No, I don't think so. How was your leg from a crash? It's good. It stings a little bit. How did you crash? I think there was a puddle of water on one of the uh, bowls and I've gone on it and I've slipped off. So like those wet patches on the side of the things? Yeah, the wet patches. So you, how fast were you going? Uh, reasonably fast. What's your best time? I don't really time myself but um, 40. 40 seconds. Going back to my younger years, you know, the push bike is just a vehicle of enjoyment. You know, transporting me, you know, from one place to another. And then when I'm there, building jumps with my friends and collaborating as a team, all of those things sort of add up to a single experience of my youth on a push bike led me to my, my whole life riding a push bike um, until today, you know, still trying to get out as much as I can and, and riding with my friends and doing exactly what these young guys are doing. Uh, I think that's a really important thing that, you know, these guys learn that you don't have to be the best bike rider. You don't have to have more skills than your mates, but, you know, if you work together, you can often achieve a goal or, you know, that, that that achievement might just be, you know, you had a really entertaining day or you created a new memory or it was a moment in time in your life that you'll never forget. And for me, yeah, that, that's the best thing about a push bike and, and hopefully these guys start to understand that, which I'm sure they will. They're absolutely having a blast out here today.